Hey y'all and welcome back to another tutorial with me, Lee of Wine Down with Lee. Today I'm going to take it back. Back to kind of a time when I originally started doing my makeup. So this should be very beginner friendly, okay? Keep watching. All right, I'm gonna start out with my palm. And when you're putting on your palms, try not to get it on your brows because it's harder to apply your pencil. First, I'm going back in with my favorite brow pencil right now, which is the Express by Express Brow by Maybelline in the color Darkest Brown. I do have a detailed eyebrow tutorial video if you would like to see this in detail. But for the sake of this video, I am going to Speed it up. And this next product, you really don't have to use it if you don't want to, but I like to use it because it keeps all of my brows in place throughout the day. And it also gives a hint of more color. And I don't know if you can tell, but I can see the hair once I actually put this on. I don't know if you can see that. If you want to know more about this product, I'm going to put the link above where I actually use this product and I gave you my actual opinion on it if you want to use this. I'm going to, next, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Now, this one is a hydrating concealer because it has the white top, not the black one, which is a matte concealer. And this one is deep cinnamon. I'm going to carve these brows out. Again, we'll be past this. And now I'm going to go in with some translucent powder. I'm going to use the one by e.l.f. Ooh, my top was off. But I'm going to use e.l.f.'s translucent powder to go on top of the e.l.f. concealer. Because when I get ready to put on my eyeshadow, I want a smooth transition onto my eyes. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that they aren't creasing. I know I have said to refer to my eyebrow video. But just a few things in this video that you probably won't see in that video is... The fact that I'm only using one concealer for the top and the bottom, same shade, no matter what, to do my brows. Because I feel like when we're in a rush or when we're trying to get out the door, we just simply don't have the time to change five concealers and, you know, work our way through an entire look. Still no creasing on the bottom lids because we did put the translucent powder on top. I typically use this one a lot. And as you can tell... I've already hit pan. I'm going to use this darkest shade on the outer portion of my eye here. Place it in that corner right there. See, I just dabbed it on. It's like one touch down, one touch in that corner part of your eye. So if you're looking from the front here, from the side here, tap it forward. That's the first step. Go back in, start in that same spot. And I keep the eye kind of closed so that I know where I'm going with it, but it's just up, up. So I'm going to go from the front, up. See that? And so like you'll see it's a little space in the middle that is what creates the V when I'm saying like create a V. Go back in with some more and I'll fill in the middle. So now your V is created. I want to go a tad bit higher because from the front, you see I have a lot more eye space up here. So I want it to be in that eye space. So I'm just going to take it up some. Remember when you're doing this, you just have to make it fit your eye and what you want. And, oh, I'm sorry. This is a Morphe brush. This is my Morphe 504 brush. And this one is my Morphe M443 brush. So you can see the difference in them. One is like a little fluffier than the other one. I used the 504 to put it where I want it. And blend it upward. The, the line that you saw that was there, I'm just basically blending it up. Up. Oh, come on camera, focus. And I'm going back in because I'm losing some product and I'm just putting it on. Lightly, lightly touching. See how my fingers are barely touching the brush? Fading it in. Basically fading it towards the front. I'm coming towards the inner portion of my eye. 
So when you look at me from the front, I'm creating that depth on the side. So I hope you can see what I did here when I showed you how to make the V here and basically did it the same way there. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Sculpt, this color right here, taking my brush and I'm gonna place it as where the contour or the darker brown stops. I'm gonna place that one directly in the center. I'm just placing it there. Boom, see that? Right in the middle. I'm gonna go in with the clean fluffy brush because it's a different color and I don't want them to turn muddy muddy or dark. Then I'm going to take the small, the small 504 brush and that's what I'm going to do this portion with. Hope that made a lot of sense. On to the next eye. I'm going to speed it up. So now I have a clean 504 brush and I'm gonna go in with the highlight. Now, I'm not fond of the highlight that's in this actual palette. I prefer to use the Milani highlight palette for my eyes. So that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm going in with this side right here. This side is super pigmented. This side is not. This one is more like a creamy consistency. This one is more like a powder consistency. As we always do, we pack it on. First, pack it right up under that brow bone. Concealer. Everywhere the concealer is here on the brow bone, I'm going in with that gold just in the brow bone though, and then outward. Now, I'm wiping off my brush and I'm going in with the top portion of it and I'm just gonna blend it in. So that part is blended, that one is not. It's still kind of harsh. So again, wipe my brush off directly, facing like at it, holding my brush up and I'm just gonna blend it. Remember that all came from, almost all came from that palette in this one right here. And the name of this one, if you wanna know, is called Double Shot. It's 140 Double Shot. And this one of course was the dark. I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. Basically, your uh, primer is just a, a buffer between your foundation and your skin. On top of that, it gives you a, a smooth canvas for your actual application of your, of your foundation. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me in the colors 360 and 362. Yes, I have to blend them. Oh, wait. This don't like the right color, y'all. No, it's 365. I'm looking at this like, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Mocha and nutmeg. Now, I'm going to try something different, which is this. Uh, it's a silicone uh, sponge applicator. It say avoids makeup waste and it's latex. So if you are allergic to latex, don't try this at home. Right. So this is it. It says, take a small amount of cream or liquid product and apply in a circular motion until the product spread. Uh, stipple or tap repeatedly to blend. Pay attention to the edges. All right. So here we go. bit much maybe forgot I was using this normally the sponge soaks it all up so man when I say it's so soft I really miss it. like soft need to use this for my moisturizer okay I think I just put too much uh products on my face for that so I'm gonna go ahead and use my sponge and I'm used to it picking up so much of the product that's why I put on uh, as much as I did I know it looked like a whole bunch but considering that half of it is gonna go into the sponge so if you notice, I didn't put a lot of dirt, uh, foundation directly up under my eyes right here. And that is because, of course, I have dark spots, but I'm going to conceal. Just Listen, it is good to use the same concealer that you use on your eyebrows on your face because you get the same color, so everything looks like it's matching and blended. Okay. Now, while that is sitting, I'm going to go in. Hmm. I'm debating on whether I want to use a dark brown pencil or if I want to use this one. I'm gonna try brown. I don't normally try brown, but I'm gonna try brown on my eye and see what happens. What y'all think about the brown? 
that cocoa is not gonna work. <laughs> I'm going in with my black. But you know what? That helped my black go on very easy. So I'm gonna do it on the other eye. So that's your eye. So I got something else I wanna pull out and try, okay? I'm telling you, I don't know what was coming over me, but I'm gonna try it as well. This is the uh, GSO Teardrop Blenders, basically. So they are beauty blenders that are like nice, flat, and angled. They're supposed to fit perfectly in your eyes. Now it did say to, um, wet it completely and then squeeze it out. I remember used to have those pads that looked like this and I used to use them to wipe the sweat off my face. That's, that's when I really just didn't know anything about makeup, baby. I was doing the best I could at the time. I think I have one of those things in my drawer. I do. <laughs> this. Now, if anybody had this little red pad and you know you used it on your face, I don't know what you used it for, but I used to use it to wipe the sweat off my face. But now when I went to go buy it, I was like, oh, this is an exfoliation pad. I had no idea. Um, I put some water on it, kind of like a damp beauty blender, and then we're going to go ahead and do what we normally do. I might kind of like this one, okay? There. Oh, y'all, this might be a go. I'm not saying that the first pad wasn't a go. I just put too much foundation on for that one. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, I would typically go in with two concealers, as you already know. But like I said, it's a quick look, so we're not doing all that. So basically, I'm dipping the back side of this into the Laura Mercier powder. And I'm using Laura Mercier because it is the best powder there is on the market. And of course, you try to make sure that you don't have any wrinkles in your eyes to set. Make sure you push in. This is still damp. It does fit in the pockets really, really good. Like right there, look, the nose, the eyes. My camera stopped again on me. Oh, this camera is kind of disrespectful. So I'm going back in. This time I use the uh, medium palette. I'm just going to do a light contour. Bring a little depth to the face, a little color to the face. We'll go in with the mascara. One is the um, Luscious Lash and then the other one is the Curvitude. Go back in with the other side. That's super gold. And I'm going to put it right there in the corner of my eye. Just like that. Give my eyeballs a little pop. Remember, you can choose your finish if you want to be dewy. You can be dewy. If you prefer to be matte, you can be matte. Um, to me, this is like a dewy dewy one as well. They're both by Milani because I don't want to show you the Anastasia. I mean, I, I can show you Anastasia, but it's just expensive. It's $25 a bottle versus getting both of these probably would be like $16 for the both of them. So this is your better deal. But today, for the sake of this video, I am going with the Anastasia because... I did not purchase the Dewey in another uh, setting spray just yet. So, here, this makes you, oh, it smells so good. Oh, oh, oh. This makes you look like you have just skin. Another thing you can do is you can also take your spray and you can put it to the back of your beauty blender. I like to use this part of it to tell in the bump. I call it the butt, the butt end of it. Or you can spray it anywhere. You're going under your eyes. You need to go like this. But basically you spray your beauty blender down with the setting spray that you're going to actually use. And you just plop it onto your face versus spraying the out of your face with the spray. And that's that beauties. We'll go ahead and we'll come back. We'll do our hair. And then I'll come back and show you my completed finished look. <laughs> All right. Hey, lovelies. This is how I would actually look if I went to work. I would definitely throw on my glasses and head out the door. But this is the look without the glasses. Just some mascara. Me, no lashes. So I can actually fit my glasses onto my face. But yeah. I think this was a easy look. If you want to try it, please tag me on Instagram or email me. I will shout you out on my page and let everyone know that you created this beautiful, simple, easy makeup look. Also, if you have not subscribed already, consider subscribing if you did pick up anything or if you like my style of videos. And I will definitely catch you all in the next one. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye.